Hey everyone, welcome to the year 2020. We're starting out with some interesting breaking news. I'm going to put a link below to an article that was published in the Post Millennial. I wrote it. Um, that has to do with the cancellation of a speaker at a university campus. Surprise, surprise. This is obviously something that's been going on uh, in Canada, in the US, the UK. Pretty much all universities right now are struggling with freedom of speech issues and um, protest groups, especially Antifa, who threaten to protest in ways that are potentially violent. Now, one of the people who's been covering Antifa protests uh, quite a bit is Andy Neo. Andy is one of the editors at large for Post Millennial. So obviously Post Millennial finds it incredibly interesting that he's being accused of hate speech. One of the things that's different in this case is that the JCCF has uh, threatened to file a lawsuit against the University of British Columbia if they don't reinstate the lecture. The lecture was cancelled with very short notice. The room was booked I think back in November and uh, they waited until December 20th to notify the free speech club that they were no longer able to put on that event. So of course short notice causes lots of problems in terms of people booking flights and uh, their uh, deposit was paid on the room and everything which apparently will be refunded. But um, basically until the universities start facing lawsuits I don't really think that anything is going to change. So a lot of the breaking details are in that article in the Post Millennial. Um, you should go read it. We'll be following up with um, other stuff that's happening as a result of this announcement. And uh, so watch the Post Millennial for uh, other upcoming articles on the issue. Now, the article is called UBC Council's Andy Neo Talk on Antifa Violence Due to Violent Threats from Antifa. Yes, the irony is thick. Uh, but this is a serious issue because uh, Andy Neo is famously uh, attacked and actually seriously injured by attacks where they call it milkshaking somebody. This isn't just throwing your drink in somebody's face, these are um, concrete milkshakes. And he was actually fairly seriously injured. And a lot of people were celebrating that, saying he deserved it. And as expected, leading up to this event, there were postings on Facebook saying that they intended on uh, milkshaking him again. So there actually were ser serious uh, threats of violence and UBC, interestingly, and uh, the other universities as well, they know the source of these threats and yet the people who are being punished, the ones who are trying to hold the events peacefully and trying to organize them in a way that's safe, are the ones who are being punished. They're the ones who are having to pay the security fees. And uh, some of these, like at UBC, there's actually a group called Students Against Bigotry which has some of these uh, intention to, to harm postings on the site. Now, I don't know if they have any official status, but I am very curious as to why the people who are actually causing the violence or threatening the violence aren't the ones who are being made to pay the fees. Uh, why aren't they getting arrested? So um, that's something to watch and we will be reporting on it further. So uh, keep watching the Post Millennial and um, it's time that we do something about uh, these Antifa groups they're essentially holding everybody hostage with threats of violence and um, the correct people are the ones who need to start answering questions and being held responsible for this.